I'm on the teeth. Uh huh. It doesn't matter what color I am. Oh, wait a minute, Ron. Just don't. It ain't what God say. See, on the, once we get out here teaching, so the spirits start to activate. And they, and they activate and activate. See, see on what you're seeing over there and on Israel today, that ain't the truth. It is what's going on on because we were sent into slavery for disobedience, Bobby, but that land is our land. Real quick, real quick. So you say that you, uh, what's your name? Simi. Uh, what's your nationality? Yeah, according to this sign right here. Uh, well, you see where I'm from, so right? Where about? So the first one? So your father from the Dominican? So your father so-called black? So you from the first one? Alright, I'm going to show you what God say. Give him, uh, give him what God say first. According to his own pedigree. All right, when God calls your pedigree or your bloodline, one thing. All right, hey, on YouTube. All right, what's your name, bro? Uh, what's your name? Ron. You call me Ron. Ron. All right, Ron. All right, I'm David. So what we out here to do, our right, is on to teach our people what God calls us according to the Holy Bible, and then on to get us back on the right track to actually do what God says on for us to do. So when he said his name is Simeon, Simeon is one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah, but he said his own father is a so-called black man. So we gotta go off of what God says according to what he said, all right? I'll read this real quick. Numbers, chapter one and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. So they declared their what? Pedigrees. They declared their what? Pedigrees. So what's a pedigree, brother? Simeon, Ron. Ron. Ron, what's a pedigree? Simeon, what's a pedigree? That's your bloodline. So God declared your bloodline after what? Hold on, hold on, Ron. Ron, I got you, Ron. I'm going to answer. He answered it for us, Ron. All right? So God declared their pedigrees after what? After their families. By the house of their fathers. After the house of their what? Fathers. After the house of their fathers. So your bloodline goes off of who you are. What? Who? Your father. Who your father is. So... So when you say that you come from the tribe of Judah now, right? So, you're so, so your father's a so-called black man. Yeah. All right, and you say the same thing, it just, yeah. or is your father so-called black I, I or no? Like, I would like to say that you, yeah. Well, I can hold it for you. I can I, hold I, it for I, you. I, 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 I believe my father is me. My father is Jesus. It doesn't matter what color I am. Oh, wait a minute, Ron. Just don't. It ain't what God say. No. It does matter. My father says this. My father says this. You are my son. Who said that? My father. My father is mine. Okay, and, and you're mine. And you're mine. You know, right here. Uh huh. I believe. All right, Ron, Ron. Hey, now, hold on, oh, I heard what you said, Ron. Let me Ron, I heard what you said. Can I bring one thing out about what you just said about the heart? Can I bring out one thing about what you said about the heart? All right. So on he said about on what his father said about his heart, right? So let's see what God said. Listen, Ron, listen, 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 listen Ron. So you said said I could bring it out, right? Of course I'm your brother. I love you, bro. All right, I'm listening to what
what God says. I'm going to read that. Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 9. The heart is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Read this Come on, come on. The heart is deceitful. Is what? Deceitful above all things. So, so when God himself says the heart is deceitful above all things. So you cannot trust in your own heart. You got to trust in the words of God. And what does God say? You're an Israelite. That's right. You're from the greatest on the people on the planet Earth. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. You look at the so-called black man in Christianity. All right, on black people, on particularly on the follow of Christianity. And on the Christianity has a white God. So their image, it don't even look like themselves. So they're following the European mindset. All right, I want you to listen to this scripture. Hosea, chapter three and verse four. For the children of Israel. For the children of whom? Israel shall abide many days. Many days. Without a king. Without a king. And without a prince. And a prince, and what? And without a sacrifice. Uh -huh. And without an image. And without a what? Image. And without an image. All right, we don't have an image that looks like us. So when we on see each other, so we see just a Negro, That's right. nigger. Right. So it's easy for us to kill each other. Right. And on Europeans be like, I don't know why they just want to shoot each other so willfully. Bring it out. How? Uh, Cause God doesn't look like us. Now, so 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 when when you put the God of the Bible in our image. I don't just see another black man. I see God in him. Yes. I'm not gonna steal from him. I'm not finna kill him. I'm not finna try to take his lady. Yeah, cause we are fashioned after the image of God himself. That's the importance of that image right here. At, so the, all right, the so-called Europeans have fashioned after all right, a so-called white man or Esau in the Bible. Now, I didn't forget your question. Now, I want to state your question. What if I'm you got a second Israel, question. What if I'm not an Israelite? What guidance do you have, if any, for me? What guidance? Yeah. Well, that's a good question. Okay, give me Isaiah 14. Now, so if you come from, so it's on the so-called European background, all right, God calls you the Edomites. All right, now have you ever you know, heard about the Edomites in the Bible? Okay. I'm sorry. Look. <laughs> See, once we get out here teaching, so the spirits start to activate. And they, and they activate and activate. So back to your question. She, she ain't gonna stop. So once you read the Bible, all right, Jacob and Esau. All right, Jacob and Esau was twins. All right, in the same womb as their mother. All right, on Jacob, he was a so-called black man. Oh, oh, Esau was the first of his kind. All right, and he was wet out on the melanin, as they say. All right, that pigment. So when he was born as um, so a lack of melanin, so the blood shone forth on the, through his skin. So when the God calls him a red man, so that's on the written in the Bible, all right? So when the, both of them have a destiny in the Bible, all right, when Jacob have a destiny and Esau has a destiny, okay? It is what it is. I can't change it, you can't change it if we want, all right, wanted to. So on the, this is the reading of that destiny. Read that, Isaiah 14. Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse one. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. On who? Jacob. So on the Jacob had a whole on the lineage of children. All right, Jacob's name was changed to Israel on by the angel. So the angel fought with Jacob. You 
you want to have to get into this Bible here. All right, on the Jacob was fighting with the angel, and the angel had on the change of name of Israel. So when the Jacob had on the children, on the 12 sons, um, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel today. So what did God say about Israel? For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob uh -huh. and will yet choose Israel. So when God said, I will yet choose Israel. All right, I'm going to choose the nation of Israel. All right, the so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. Read. And set them in their own land. So, so when God said, I'm going to set these people in their own land. Right. So what's our land today? Uh, the so-called black man's land. Or uh, the Israelites. It's Israel. See, see on what you're seeing over there and on Israel today, that ain't the truth. It is what's going on on because we were sent into slavery for disobedience. I mean, but that land is our land. See, on the God had chose that land to be us. I mean, but we didn't want to listen. So, so when God had cast us out, and then he put the so-called Jewish, Jewish people in that land, in the Palestine in that land. Now, for both of those, it's going to be cast out, and Jesus Christ is going to come back, and we're going to get the land, and everything is going to go back into the way it's supposed to be. All right, now you know what Jew stands for? Jew? Or Jew? So what's the top tribe up here? Judah. Judah. So oh, that's an uh, right, abbreviation of Judah. Okay, but what about... Again? Hold on, hold on, I gotta finish! Ian, you asked me three questions now. I'm gonna deal with two. I'm gonna deal with two. I'm trying to tell you for the sake that you can impart knowledge onto me that uh, I'm lost. I need to be brought back to the original. Right. You're losing me. I, no, so I'm not trying to lose you. All right, I'm answering your questions one by one. I'm trying to answer them. All right, but you can't keep asking. All right, I'm gonna answer all your questions. I promise you that. Well, I only have one. But I gotta read the question. I only got one question. What so you said uh, for me, if I'm not in this. That's what I'm reading right now. That's what I'm reading. I just gotta break it down so you understand on what the scripture says. Okay, yeah, because the Bible is written complex. Right. All right. So I gotta make it plain for you. All right. I'll read it one more again. Yeah. I'll read it from the top. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse one. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Jacob is Israel. And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So we're going back to Israel. Got me? But it ain't going to be the Israel that you see today. All right. All right. All right. Israel is going to be the kingdom of heaven. Read. And the strangers. And the who? Strangers. So when the Bible talks about the strangers, it's talking about every other nation. So that's where you fall in. All right, if you fall into the original Italians or the Edomites, all right, it's talking about the original Chinese or, um, so what's the, uh, the Chinese? Moabites. Moabites. Uh, the Moabites and the Ammonites. All right, on the Tyree and Zidon. See, the Bible have these ancient names, uh, but the name's been changed. So the strangers is everybody outside of Israel. So the strangers what? And these strangers shall be joined with them. So the strangers is coming with us. So you're coming okay. on with the Israelites, read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Read. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. So we're going to take all the other nations and bring them back into the kingdom of heaven. I mean, but just like on the today, I like guess a hierarchy today, right? So the so-called on the Europeans is at the top. So the so-called black man is at the bottom on the working as a servant. Same thing in the, uh, the kingdom of heaven. All right, it's going to be the same hierarchy except for reversed. All right, I'm going to read it. Read. And the house of Israel. And the house of who? Israel shall possess them. Shall what? Possess them. Shall possess them. Now, which is the strangers as what? And the land of the Lord Three. for servants. For what? Servants. And what? And handmaid. So when you possess something, you own them. Right. So, so, so it ain't going to be the same atrocities. All right. All right. We're going to be ruling in righteousness. I mean, but if you're, I'm the true European or the true Edomite, 
you're gonna be in servitude. And then after like a, all right, a dispensation of time, you have to be done away with. Thus saith the Lord. Read. And they shall take them captives. They shall take them captives what? Whose captives they were. So that's what God says. So we come out here to, all right, I'm teach the same thing God says. So like if you're like a true Edomite, so you're going into captivity. Right. You can't stop it. I can't stop it for you, but it is going to happen. That is what it is. So that's the answer to that question. So what's going to happen to you? Like, so even if you do believe in us and all this other stuff, you still got to go into captivity for that dispensation of time. All right. You understand, Eden? Yeah, I get it. All right, on how can you help us, right? I believe that was your first question on how can you help out or whatever. No, it was how, how does y'all's belief guide me? Guide you. All right. So our belief. So we're out here to tell you the truth. Un, unadulterated. So we're going to give it to you cold-hearted. That's right. All right, God said that you're going into captivity. All right, how does it help you? You can help us. But, uh, but it ain't going to be joining with us. See, um, you can help us I mean, by actually spreading the truth. Man, I ran into these guys in purple and yada, 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 and they was the Israelites. And um, y'all is the Israelites too. All you black people and Native Americans, y'all is the true people of God. And then on a sense, you're privileged. Um, have you found yourself privileged in this? Oh, yeah, everybody does. Everybody? Yeah, absolutely. Am I privileged? One way or another. <laughs> you are part of Am I privileged like you privileged? Well, it depends on how you want to define it. You're, you're right. parted with this knowledge, so you're blessed in that way. I'm not, so I'm not blessed in that way. No, All right. That way. So let's just say the police ought to get behind you. Am I? Well, in that All way, right, the police that get way, behind both of us. They're probably behind me more often. No. Well, oh. they're usually behind white people more often. <laughs> So are we privileged the same way on when the police come no, behind no, us? Well, no one's privileged the same way. Right. We're, we're both saying the same thing. So who's at the top of society here? No, I can't that. Question. Who is ruling the world? Has to be the leaders of the nations. All right, on who is leading the nations? Who is the top nation? Who do you think? America. Okay. Right? Am I wrong or am I right? I'm not sure. America's not the top nation? All right, now who has the most on a military basis in it? Oh, All right, around America. the country. America. So does on the Russia have a military, has on one military base on here? No, Russia does not. So what about the Arabs? I don't think so. No. How about the Chinese? No, no other country has a military base here. Got me both. Um, so America has military bases all around the, uh, the world. So what's the point you're trying to do? I'm trying to say on the who is on the running America. Um, who's the president? Uh, president Joe Biden. Is he a so-called black man? Uh, I don't think so. You don't? <laughs> He's a European. So who is running America? It's a European. Right. So, so I know what you're thinking. Well, well y'all had Obama, right? Yeah. No, no, we did have Obama. I, I seen it in your eyes. I seen it in your eyes. It's OK. Uh, so we did have Obama. But on the who was running Obama? I'm not sure what you think. No, not what I think. So what did Obama do for black folks? I'm not sure. Did yeah. he do anything? I'm, I, I'm just I'm asking. Here, I'm here to learn. I'm here to accept the I'm knowledge. I'm just asking. It, all I'm asking is questions, Ian. All I'm asking is questions. I'm, did Obama do anything for black folks? I, I'm not educated. No, that you can call. Well, I'm not educated on that. No, I'm saying on the that you can call. Like on the can you call? Like, no. So he did do something for y'all. He did this. Can you call that? Well, I couldn't say for any people. I can't say. Yeah. I, know, he do, I know where you want to get. Did he do did something for that? LGBT? I have no idea. I'm telling he you. He didn't do nothing for LGBT? I have no idea. Obama didn't do nothing for LGBT? That's not what I'm saying. You know. Ian, he didn't do nothing for LGBT? Obama the first gay president? He didn't do nothing for LGBT? Freedom! Ian, we is talking about truth. Like, if you don't want to talk truth no more, Ian, I ain't got nothing else to say to you, and you can be on about your way, and we can end this conversation. I mean, but we stand on the 100% truth of this Bible. Yeah, right. Sir, I'm here. 
I have not said anything but I don't know and I've asked you to impart knowledge onto me. How dare you say I don't want to know the truth when all I ask from you is the truth. So what's the truth? That's what I'm asking you for. Give me the truth. Sure. Give me the truth. Let's get in the truth. Hey, 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 all right, Ian. All right, if you don't want to stand on it, all right, if you don't want to stand on this truth on it, because that's all we speak. It ain't no hate. It ain't no, I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I don't even know you. I don't know you to hate you. I'm just out here reading the Bible on the microphone that I've had the understanding of granted that I'm gonna just give to the people. Right. All right, you just happen to be up here. All right? But let's see what the Bible says on what is the truth. And this is what we gotta get back to as a whole people. Right. Everybody. So, All right, if you get to, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hey, hey, hold on. So on the, when you get to the kingdom of heaven, you're gonna be doing this right here. You're gonna be following every 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 people is is on the, gonna be following what this Bible say the truth is. All right, read that. Psalm chapter one nineteen and verse one forty two. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. And thy law is what? The truth. And thy law is the truth. See, this is what this world has on the failed and got away from. They're not following God's laws no more. Yeah, but the kingdom of heaven, all right, if you truly want to get to heaven, you're going to be following God's laws. It ain't going to be the ways of all right, America's laws. No, America's going to be done away with. That's right. Now, thus saith the Lord is. Right. That's what God says. Now, this kingdom ain't going to survive when Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, returns. That's right. He's going to set up on God's kingdom right. Ian. <laughs> All right, do you understand? I understand. All right, and what question you had, Ian? I'm done. Thank you, sir. Are I you sure? Thank you very much. Here All right, Ian. Saying. No handshake, Ian. I'm, I'm not All right, we don't do European ways. All right, I gave you the okay, that, whatever. I understand. Thank you, guys. Hey, on Ian. Hey, on the donate to the cause on Israel <laughs> Unite. Nah, and on the give me, uh, right. give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. All right, if you can. <laughs> hey, read that. Hey, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art holy people. All right, speaking to you so-called blacks, in Hispanics and Native Americans, you are a holy people according to God. You are the chosen race. You are the people that is supposed to be keeping God's laws. Yet you've been failing, read. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. Praise. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. You have been chosen. You have been picked out of everybody to be the ones. You are the called, read. To be a special people. You are special. You're not supposed to be at the bottom of society. You're not supposed to be killing each other. You're not supposed to be whoring out your sisters and selling drugs to each other. Yeah. You, you, you want to have to do better I mean, for yourself and your race, read. Unto himself, above, uh, what? above. You're supposed to be a, I mean, above, on top of everybody. Yeah. I mean, why do we find ourselves on the bottom? All right, why do we find ourselves on the bottom is the question that you should be asking. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Oh!